what's going on guys it's been a it's been a while since i've posted anything on my uh youtube channel I haven't been doing anything it's just trucking been home a couple times but i i just been running i'm sure it's no uh no news to anyone how trucking's been this year and 2022 and 2023 with the whole trucking recession last month was probably the worst month trucking has had. So I've just been trying to keep the wheels rolling, staying busy, trying to outlast this trucking recession we have. Um, I figured I might as well pick up the camera. Better late than never. We're out here in Laredo, Texas, down by the border. And uh, I stopped to, uh, I'll be changing out the filters, the air filters on the truck or the cans, you know, however, I call it the truck has been it's been letting me work not too many issues little stuff here and there but biggest change to the truck is uh i changed the visor probably put in a video of of it from the inside uh it's a bigger visor so it blocks out more sun and it's closer to the to the glass so i like it i like the look of it the, the older one, the, the rivet nuts were starting to come to come loose and I was afraid they were gonna gap out too big of a hole on the on the chassis of the truck up there. This one has like five bolts holding it down so you get less wind vibration and whatnot. So like I said, let's get uh into these cans and I'm sure I'll find something else to talk to you guys about. All right, so as you saw, that was pretty much uh, straightforward. It's not that complicated. I think the hardest part is probably uh, connecting back the electrical connections on the filter lights I have. Uh, differences I, like that I found was the last filters I had put on. They're Packard filters. These ones are Donaldson. So to me, I might be tripping. The Donaldson's look a bit slightly bigger than the Packard ones. They also brought these like uh, rubber gaskets. I'll keep them, but my, uh, my cans are Donaldson's and they don't have really any rubber gaskets to go around, so I'll keep them. Never know. Never know when you screwed up and you might need to throw them on, so. Let me see something. I think I think these are for like uh, T680s and whatnot. The way their filters are made, maybe it's for those applications. I do remember though. This is the second time I changed filters on this truck in a year, and the last time it, it didn't have uh, I didn't have to use these rubber uh, gaskets or whatever seals or whatever you call them but I'll keep them around, you never know. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock out the other side. And I also forgot to mention that I'm gonna be changing out my air lines and my pigtail. Because not only is this one too long, DOT doesn't doesn't let you, they don't like you. They wanna be picky, they bother you about it. They don't like you on this. I think the 15 foot one, I bought the 12 foot one. And also a while back, you know, make a mistake. This was dragging on the ground when I got to where I was going. Thankfully I have a, a 
backup. So I've been using this for a while now. So I just decided to go ahead and change everything out. So you guys will get to see. It's also pretty straightforward, nothing crazy. You'll get to see me uh, change that out as well. All right. I'm kind of worried because I I forgot to buy Teflon tape, but these have these uh, like a threat lock seal thingamajiggy on the end of that, and on the end that goes to the black hat as well. I have Teflon tape, but I think I left it at the house. I had used it when I uh, did some things to the one up to the car so
didn't want to go in reverse. So we had to go forward a bit, break it loose. Break it, break it, break it loose. And uh, we had to go forward a bit, tighten it so I could break loose. patient. I only use the tool to like break it loose to the point where I can just put my hand go the, the rest of the way. So, I don't want to sit there wrenching away unless I have like a ratchet or something. Even then. And like uh, I don't know why when I'm, when I'm working on stuff I don't like using gloves. Like I like feeling the whatever I'm trying to work on. I like feeling it with my hand. I feel like with the glove it's too funky. I use gloves if it's something that's like hot or sharp. See, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a threat lock or a threat seal. Or mention man about a week ago I had my uh, my turbo go out on me the turbo on the side of the road. Outside of Dallas, or south of Dallas, I was able to find a shop that uh, that had the board working for the board warner that I needed. And they brought it to me. I'm gonna uh, post up some. I got some videos I took for Instagram. The, the whole review. Come on, splice him in into this video. But uh, I probably should have recorded then. Changing a 
turbo is not that uh not that complicated. Especially when it's not uh that's a good thing about having a non VGT turbo. You literally just undo the, the, the oil feed line and the return line four bolts and then obviously you, you take off the, the intake elbow you take off the, the elbow that goes to the CAC so the charge air cooler and then you take off the, the downpipe four bolts take it off of your manifold slap the new one on tighten everything up hook everything back up back, back up roll if not all of the oil out of your tank. So on the side of the road, the way I did that was I disconnected the, the intake side. So like the, the driver's side of the piping that goes from the charge air cooler to the engine. I took all that off and I just left the charge air cooler uh, open. And I uh, high idled it. I think I had it at like 1500 RPMs just idling so no more oil came out of it. particles like metal particles going into the cack and whatnot but that's just to get you off the shoulder also you want to make sure you disconnect all the all the rubber and aluminum tubing that goes from the filter to the turbo because if if your turbo went out you most likely have some blowback learned that from experience and it's dumped metal shavings back into the into the filters and then when you turn your turbo back you know when you put your new turbo on and you turn your truck on and you get pulling you're gonna suck all that stuff back up and you're liable to mess up your new turbo so yeah you want to go through your filters and all the tubing and piping and whatnot and uh remove any metal shaving shavings you might have come on buddy Good I'm taking uh, my spare electrical pigtail I call it off of the old lines. I, I keep this in my truck. You never know when you need it. You never know when you need it. I got a trick for y'all. If you do a lot of power only or like drop and hook, you get a uh, Jeez. You get those those trailers where your pigtail tends to wiggle. And so sometimes like your lights will flicker. Sometimes they don't turn on unless you like zip tied to the side or down or up. Well there's a a little screw on the bottom of these things. And it's supposed to be flush, right? It's supposed to be flush, but you unscrew it. You don't, you don't want to unscrew it all the way because that's how you take this thing apart. But you unscrew it enough so the pigtail has a, when it sits there, it's tight. It creates a, like a it creates resistance on it. it. Keeps it from dancing around on you. And uh, that's 
a good way to solve that light issue. And then once you get to where you're going, you drop off your, the trailer, you tighten it back up, and you plug it back into the new trailer. Alrighty. Let's get this show on the road. I want to show y'all one more thing. Week. The next video is going to be on sometime this week the next video is gonna be on the water pump i don't know if you notice it but it's leaking coolant see it's leaking coolant so there's two ways to do it you could either take off the the whole thing or you could take off four bolts one two, three down there, focus, three down there, and the fourth one, right? So you drain the coolant, take the pulleys off, and you take those four, those four bolts out, and uh, you just pop open the front part, pop back in the new one. So I think that's what my next video is gonna be on. This is the new turbo. This is a new turbo. See, so all you do is you pop this off, pop this off, take this off, this, this, and you have four bolts. One, two, three, and you have one down here somewhere. That's four bolts, and you pop your turbo off, Put the new one on if you had a vgt one then you'd have to get the actuator reprogrammed every time you took that thing on and off and old school baby old school workhorse
These trailers get inspected when they get dropped off here. So. I'm not really expecting to find anything wrong with it. But I am responsible once I hit the road with it that uh, everything is good to go on this thing. So it doesn't hurt to check. Alright guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about it. Give me some feedback. Till next time, keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up. Outlaw out, break, break, break.